What's up guys, this is Adit from TechZZ and in this video I'm going to show you 5 Chrome extensions that everybody should use. So these vary from topics such as productivity or a screen recorder and if you're a student, working or anything, these will surely be useful to you. And one thing that you should know is that these are completely free to use and you can download all of them from the Chrome Web Store. So let's get started. So the first one is Grammarly and this in my opinion is the best Chrome extension out there. So basically what it'll do is correct all of your grammatical mistakes when you're typing something. So whether it's an email or a document or even filling in a form, if you've either made a grammatical mistake or left out a comma or anything like that, then they'll correct all of your mistakes. So I'll just show you how it works now. So if you want to download it, you can just go to the Chrome web store, then search for Grammarly for Chrome, and then you can just download it. So now I'll show you how it works. I'll just type something over here. And now I'll just make a few grammatical mistakes. And here, as you can see, they've underlined all of the mistakes that I've made. And now to rectify the mistake, I can just put my cursor on it. And here, as you can see, it's all becoming correct. So this is basically how it works. If you're typing anything on any site, it'll correct all of the mistakes that you've made. Now the next one is block site. And this does exactly what its name suggests. It'll block a site. So if you feel that you're wasting a lot of time on a certain site and you just want to focus, then what you can do is just enter the name of the site on block site. And every time you go there, it'll just redirect you back to block site. So I'll show you how it works. So you'll have to go to the Chrome web store and then search for block site and this is how it looks. Then once you've added block site, you'll reach this dashboard. And over here, you can just enter the name of the site, which you'll want to block. So let's say I want to block YouTube. And then I can type it in over here and just click on add item. And here, as you can see, YouTube has come. So now if I just search for YouTube, as you can see, it's not allowing me to go to YouTube. So the same way you can add more sites. And then they also have a focus mode. So basically in this, if I know that I need to focus for the next one hour, then I can just enter that over here. After that, I can enter all of the sites which I want to block and then just click on start focus session. And then for the next one hour, you won't be able to use the sites. I feel that this is really helpful for people who get distracted easily. And if you want to finish work without getting distracted, you should definitely try this out. Now the next one is Loom. And using this, you can record your screen and then send a URL to someone. So let's say you need to explain to somebody something which is on a document or you want to show them how to do something. Then instead of typing it out in an email, what you can do is just record your screen. So your camera will be there, then you can draw stuff. And then once you've saved the video, what you can do is just send a URL to them. And then when they open it, they'll be able to see it. So I'll show you how it works. So again, in the Chrome web store, you'll just have to search for Loom. And this is how it looks. And now to record your screen, you just have to click on the extensions button, which is on the top right. Then click on Loom. So over here, as you can see, you have many settings, like selecting your camera, your microphone. Then you can decide if you want to share a current tab or the entire desktop. And then once you've made all the changes, you can just click on Start Recording. After that, you just have to select whether you want to record the entire screen or a window. So I'll just click on Screen and then Share. And here, as you can see, it's recording my screen and my camera is at the bottom left. And now to stop this, I can just click on stop sharing. And over here, as you can see, I've got my video. And now to share it with others, you can just click on share or you can just copy the link. And now you can just share it to anybody. So this is how Loom works. And I think the biggest advantage of this is the ease with which you can start recording and share it. So in a couple of seconds, all of this gets done and it's really helpful. Now the next one is called one tab and it's for all the people who have 50 or 100 tabs open at a time. So basically what it will do is combine all of the 50 tabs into one and this has two advantages. First, it'll give Chrome a better look and secondly, it'll make Chrome much faster because earlier 50 tabs were open but now all of them have been compressed to one. So this is how the extension looks and I'll show you exactly how it works. So here as you can see I have five tabs open and now using one tab it'll all get compressed to one. So I'll click on the extensions button, which is on the top right over here. And then just click on one tab. And here, as you can see, they've all come under one. So now I have a lot more space on top over here. And now since less tabs are open, Chrome will be faster. Then you also have some options over here, like restoring all of them. 
or you can delete all of them or share it. So if I just click on restore, now it's gone back to how it was. And now another extension that helps solve the same problem is tab Wrangler. So basically what this does is that if they notice that you aren't using a certain site and it's just being left open, then it'll automatically close it after a certain time. So again, I'll just show you how it works. So this is how the extension looks. And then once you've installed it, you can just go to tab Wrangler and click on options. Then over here, if you go to options, then you can decide after how long you want a certain tab to close. So I can make this, let's say 120 minutes. So now if I don't use a tab for two hours, then it'll automatically close the tab. But if I want to get it back, I can just go to tab Wrangler and then it'll show up over here. So again, this is really helpful for people who don't end up closing all of the hundreds of tabs which are open and it'll just give Chrome a much cleaner look. And the last one is screen shader. And this is for all of the people who use the laptop at night when it's dark. So at night, when you're using your laptop, what this will do is just dim your brightness and block out the blue light. And this will obviously reduce the strain on your eyes. So in the web store, just search for screen shader and this is how it looks. After that, click on extensions and click on screen shader. So over here, you have many options and you can decide how much you wanted to shade your screen during the day, during the night and bedtime. So over here, you'll have to enter the time when you wake up and after that, you can just change all of these. So I've been using this for a while now and this really does reduce the strain on your eyes. So if you're someone who uses your laptop at night, I'd 100% recommend to just try this out for a bit. So this is all for today. And if you want to know some cool Gmail tricks or Google form tricks, you can check out these videos over here and over here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.